Well, isn't this just sad? 83, what's left outside? We got a snowstorm last night, of course. First snowfall of the season. I don't think it'll stay, mind you. You never know. Um, I tried to get this in the garage last night. Of course, the stupid battery was dead. So I have winter tires on it. Don't get shocked. I'm not driving it. There were just extra tires I had kicking around the shop for the longest while. I guess it is still pumped. So I'm going to uh, put a battery in it, start it up. Dethaw it. I got the garage. I got the furnace running in the shop. And get it in there. I'm going to get some new belts on this. Okay, so I threw the battery in there. I had it on the charger all night. I'm going to see how good these Arctic claws are. I'm sure the car will get around just fine. This car has got to be in the garage. Can't be sitting out here like this. Well, all of them really can't, but of course, sometimes you just have no choice. Especially if you have way too much of a collection than what you need. What a beautiful sound that is. Nothing like being able to see where you're going. Of course, I have no snow brush for any of them because I simply don't drive them. I guess just keep going until it sounds expensive. Pretty driving the door open. Tires work great. Or not. Probably directionals. The snow is actually quite wet. And, uh, the ground's not frozen, so it just made a big mess after I started snow plowing and uh, well it is what it is I guess right about there marks the spot Find the broom now. I didn't get too much mud on her anyway. The old sow. Stayed fairly clean, you know, considering it sat in storage for three plus years. Hasn't gone anywhere. Hasn't been driven. So I'm gonna give this thing the care it deserves and it's going into the garage it doesn't deserve to be out here neither do any of them then what I'll probably do is I'll move the Cadillac and wheel that frame over into where the Cadillac is parked 
the body is still coming down this year we just haven't got the front end of that frame back together so we could do that that's the only thing we're waiting on getting the ball joints pressed in with new control arms so once I do that well then we'll be fine so yeah the poor old thing got an exhaust leak the belts are done typical typical for stuff that sits too darn long I'm gonna let it warm up for a while. Let it run and see if I can find a broom and clean the snow off of it. Well, I decided to uh, leave this run for a while. The car has developed a bit of a stalling issue. Not surprising it sat for so long. I uh, swept the snow off of it. I'm gonna give it a quick rinse seeing as I have the water running here. I'm uh, just gonna rinse off the rest of it. I rinsed off the plow truck. I gotta keep the rust clean. And, well, I'll uh, clean this one off too. And then uh, I'll park it in the garage. I don't wanna park it in the garage as it is because I mean, that'll leave quite a mess on the floor. So, it is starting to go down. It is quite mild out today. I mean, there's still some on the bus yet, but anyhow, that'll be for another day. So, I'll wheel this over to the shop this all cleaned up. I don't have any heat. I don't know. I know the uh, blower motor resistor was bad in it, but I do remember if you kind of fumbled with it with the, with the wiring underneath the hood there that sometimes it would kick in. Well, so far it doesn't anymore. Either that or the blower motor is bad. It doesn't even make an attempt. But this thing's bucking pretty good. Be a fuse. Well, that's working, but anyhow. So, I'll move it over to the garage. See, it wants to die. I don't know why, but. Well, actually, you know what? All things considered, it sat for three years. Air pump still works. That's the only thing about that still works on it. Uh, it's sat for three years, hasn't gone anywhere. So I mean, it's not surprising. But you can tell even when it's uh, idling in park that it's struggling to stay alive. Like there's a dead cylinder. Air pump's coming again. Yet. As far as I know, the shocks don't leak. It's sit fairly level. It's not bad. I'm gonna rinse the snow off of it. And uh, parking in this nice warm cocoon for now. I'm going to clean off the others. I might even get the Cadillac running there. She looks pretty sad over there. You know what, you know, after all these years, you know, the 
car still cleans up fairly well. Considering it sat most of its life and continues to sit most of its life, you know, the paint is as brittle as it is, it does still fairly clean up not too bad. So um, I'm going to leave it with that. I'm not going to sham it, it's too cold for that. Mind you, the sun came out and it wasn't too bad, but I got to find a body shop that'll actually work on old stuff like this. Even though a quick respray would be the best alternative right now. Not a lot of auto body shop going to bother with it. So I may end up having to do it myself. I just haven't found time. So for now, I'll just you know, do the best I can to preserve what little paint is left on the car. And you know, just keep it stored in the garage and whatnot. Um, and the performance issues, I mean... When I brought it down here back in July, the car ran really well. So I'm not sure if uh, I got a touch of bad fuel in it, or maybe it's just, I don't know, fuel pump, or fuel filter might be gummed up or something. You know, all that stuff works still in it. So, well, I'll park this out of the road. Wants to die. That just did. Hmm. Very interesting. But uh, in any event, something to get uh, straightened out in the summer. Right now, I don't really have time to fart around with it. This thing rocks a lot, you know that? Right, it's just like a couch, but I think the suspension might be getting a little soft. It wants to die. Sometimes you gotta just pump the accelerator and then it'll revive itself just enough to keep it going. But, I don't know. If you just feather the accelerator a little bit, it'll keep it running, but. These snow tires are no darn good, you know that? I'm spinning. I never really noticed the difference with winter tires, to be honest. Okay. She's poking her way through that. She just, uh, anyway. Doesn't have the capabilities of this old car here in the snow, but you know. It's not winter driven, so it's not like it matters, but and it's not a posy rear end in it. Probably help if it was. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's bucking like this. <laughs> 